All right, I just did a. All right, I just did a little uh, adjustment on this headband for this GoPro, so it's not flopping around so much. Ooh. tough dude. Ain't even gonna screw with it. We'll just go ahead and cut that one. I'm gonna need to cut it again, anyways. Same thing with this one. That's why I like cutting them in half. Makes this part so much easier. Maybe two and a half truck loads. It's already got at least half of one loaded up. Tree branch here. Do a little short swing there. Some of those halves I may even split again because they're pretty heavy. I'm trying to bust this one over, make it lighter. Good. Yeah, I am gonna bust most of these in half again. Probably only take oop, one or two hits. You get them into fours. Just makes it a little bit easier on me to throw them. If I was hauling with the trailer, the halves would be good. So I don't have to lift them as high. Oh dang. I don't know how hot it is today, but I know it's in the 90s. Yesterday it was a little cooler. Had some overcast, so it didn't get so hot. We're on a decent little side hill here, that's why these are hard to stand up. The chestnut oak seems to rot 
the quickest of all the wood that I do cut. So I uh, seen this tree was dead, so I went ahead and cut it because I knew I was going to cut in this area right here next. I cut this one, that one, the big chestnut oak, and then two over there. We'll cut these, cut that again, cut it a couple times, and and back the truck up farther, make it a little easier on me. Cutting. We can get backed up here farther. I need to fix this pull pull cord. It finally broke on me. This Chinese elasto start. But everything else has been pretty good besides the the tank leaking, which I fixed with some uh, uh, JB Weld. Should be good. Whew. Nice. I almost got a knot. How stringy that is. I'm gonna cut those ones there that I've already log rolled over. I guess I'll just use the 880 since it's out. I don't feel like going to get the other one. Only like 10 cuts or whatever. Let's do that.
this you know, I got to tighten the chain up a little bit. That's all it's got. The the numbers are 94 on the exhaust, 76 on the intake, and uh, 118 on the transfer. So it's got decent blowdown. So it's got good power and uh, when you're not wide open. At some point I want to get another one, another 880 that I'll do more modest numbers. Maybe keep the exhaust, I guess I will keep the exhaust closer to like 102 or 100 for milling. I mean, I really, I didn't know what the saw was going to like. I just kind of went pretty extreme right out of the box. It's got a 3120 piston in it. No machine work to the base, just a no basic gasket delete. And uh, I think that piston's like two millimeters taller. 